I worked with a lot of different personalities in the creative space. I'm somewhat, uh, when you say business, I'm somewhat of a business slash creative. And ironically, it's funny, I was talking to, listening to what Tyler Perry was saying in this thing before here. He's very similar. He's like, it's like you take your mind and I think this is very important. You know, if I'm in the creative space, you're focused directly on that creative space and you see that creative through. If you're in the business space, you focus on that business and you see that business through. I've been able to recognize talent. One theme that I found out with a lot of these personalities that I worked with that got me to this point, all the things I learned and I brought all these things together is, you know, I worked with a, a White House chef. I worked with a sports handicapper. They made a movie about his life uh, with uh, Matthew McConaughey and Al Pacino. Um, I worked with a, a major league umpire, Phil Cuzzy. And all of these big personalities, they had a very similar characteristic. Like I could take all these personalities that I worked with and I probably couldn't put them in one room, but if I put them in one room, they would, they have something that is very relatable to each or other that makes them who they are. And I think you have to make yourself who you are, define who you are, and follow that path. If you have that chemical makeup of being a business person, you know, I think you got to define yourself as a business person. If you have a chemical makeup of being a creative, you got to define yourself as a creative. And if you have both of those attributes, I think you have to be able to define yourself in both spaces and move that way in both spaces. But be able to departmentalize that when you're trying to achieve a goal. Even though I'm in the comedy business, it has a very similar thing. So you take Bain Productions, you know, when we say we're a network, we created a network of 7 million people. I found these characters. I, f I first found this character, Darren Knight, and he's a Southern comedian. And we we kind of developed this business uh, by discovery because I didn't know what I was doing, right? Now Darren is known as the fastest rising comedian in American history. So then we looked at other characters that had the same tone that came in our network. So now we have a total of seven comedians in this network that have a very similar characteristics and tone that can utilize each other's resources to build their own fan base. And this is very hard to do with entertainers because most creatives think they're the be all end all and want to sit in the corner and don't want to utilize another creative's pieces of the puzzle to help them per se. So it's very hard to pull that off. So that's why we, you know, we are a network. The thing that the, the thing that helps us build the network and why we call ourselves a studio, we do have a studio partner here in the city, uh, Cult Productions. We're constantly using media. Media is a big thing from all the social media. We're using this media to build these fans, build these fans, or could be a customer that you you know are wanting to have if for your own business. If you build your own business, that is a consistent thing every day. I get up, we put up the content, put it through our network. And one thing we should have had a slide up here and how powerful this thing has, has become, finding these characteristics that can work together and build off each other. Uh, and, and that has became a very powerful piece. And the reason this came together is when I, developing TV shows and pitching networks, I said, what can I do? An undeniable creative where they can't say no. And I think our numbers in the past four months, which is amazing, are like minutes viewed were 200 and 40 million minutes viewed in our network. Put that in perspective, that's 4.5 million hours of television. And you only get that, finding that, that characteristics and tone of that. If it's a product, a product, and where I'm going here, if it's a product or say a shirt, right? And how I'm gonna elaborate on this to relate to you, is you take a product or a shirt, or you know, if it's jewelry, whatever it is, you start with that first shirt, right? That shirt has a look, has characteristics and a tone that represents something, all right? So that is your first design. So then you take design two, three, four, or product two, three, four, right? You found your tone, you found your characteristics of what you're trying to sell, right? So let's, let's try to duplicate that because this first one is your establishment. Then you have two, three, four, five, which relates to what you started with, which is your blueprint per se. Same thing I did with, with comedians. 